see if he wants to shoot for a third time. Cody now back to Simper on his left foot. Floats in towards the back post, towards Odalusi. Header across goal. Saved by Lucy Ross. And then back it was to French who had his captain. And then that's helped out then between Osborne to find Cooper. And now it's a Banks on the right-hand side. Fulcham keeping possession. Oh, well, they've given it away straight away to Coley. Loose one into the centre. Coley now has it gone his left foot. And it's going to set into the bottom left corner. Very cheap goal to give away from an auction of standpoint. But when Coley got the ball just outside the box, he had a one thing on his mind. And on his weaker foot, he's found the bottom left corner. It did look like it just trickled in. Maybe the keeper, Ethan Ross, was a bit short-sighted with it. But on the half-hour mark, Sutton are 1-0 up. Yeah, it's a great finish by Coley. I think a couple of times he's got the ball out wide, he's been really keen to get it onto his right foot and put the ball in. So I think maybe a tuck, maybe Altrincham, just a little bit off guard. I think Altrincham, in terms of their build-up play, have probably been better than Sutton so far. However, that time they gave the ball away and it certainly cost them. Well, that's Coley, Coley's second goal of the season in two games. He managed three and goals. Arnold in all pink will get us on the way, looking towards Davis, battling. He's got a four here for Harris, plays it out to Boateng on left-hand side, just inside the box, comes on his right foot, goes back on his left, fired a cross goal, and then seconds for Harris! And Sutton will get a two-goal lead. Again, you question the auction defending, first clear is not enough, then Harris just on hand, just to smash it home into the bottom left corner once again. And space of about five minutes has gotten very bad for Auctioner in their first away game of the season. Yeah, since the first goal, Sutton have definitely began to stamp their authority on the game. They began to go forward more. You often see teams maybe well, not score in a period like that. And you can down below us. Head off, but again, forced backwards. No one really being an option for him for a short. Or everyone's kind of far away from him at the moment. Oh, lovely challenge in there. Davis gets the ball one on one with the keeper, and it's three. Out of nothing again, Sutton will score. Auction them shooting themselves in their own foot. Sutton won't care. They're three luck. Approaching half time, and Will Davis then gets his first goal in the Amber shirt. Yeah, they've, they've been clinical. They've been clinical, Sutton have. Steve Morrison will be absolutely delighted because, as you say, you can out of absolutely nothing again. You need to make these opportunities count, and even at this level, you're not going to be getting gifts, or the game's not going to be as open as it was in the first five minutes when Altrincham were getting these chances. And that's the bottom line. Sutton have been more clinical here, and you know, three 0 speaks for itself. The heads have really gone down since the first goal, Altrincham. You can see, you know, the half hour prior to the opening goal that. They had a way they wanted to play, get Newby on the ball, Muller try and will. play the ball in oh, behind Lucy, just trying to battle for it again, but this time Crawford comes away with it. Here's Banks down the line, but Edwino Vaz reads the pass and Sutton come forward into Harris. Nice turn by him, and he's been taken out, and that will be a penalty to Sutton United. And we've said it's bad already for Orchard, but it could get a whole lot worse now. Vaz has been so bright here earlier on, you can just see. He's just switched on. He nicks the ball in front of his man, plays the ball forward, and yeah, 4-0. Potentially, potentially 4-0. Potentially 4-0 potentially if it goes in. Well, I've mentioned him already and his penalty record from last season. It's going to be the number six, CG Odalusi, who will take the penalty for Sutton. He scored 11 penalties last season for Averley. Didn't miss any from what I saw as well. So, very good record from the spot. CJ Ozalusi, a couple steps back. Two is left. Big deep breath in, shoulders down. Little twinkle toes, slots it into the bottom right-hand corner. And Sutton have a 4-0 lead going into half-time here in their opening game at the VBS this season. Yeah, and at this point, it could be damage limitation with Altrincham coming out in the second half. Sudden, the one word that I keep saying is they've just been clinical. They've just been more clinical. They took their chances, and it's going to be a much more pleasant experience in this home dressing room at halftime than it is the away one, I would guess. Yeah, but you'd also think then as well with the substitutes as well who might not have featured yet. 
they might now get a chance to come on the second half. Maybe, you know, it is early in the season. Just so you know, a few legs is warm out there on the pitch, you know, a couple of degrees hotter than what it would be up in the gantry. So would that be in part of Steve Morrison's thinking one too? Or now. Absolutely. One is Amaluza, the other Haygraf, and the other Nubi. Amaluza's left it. Nubi going for an effort and goes wide right at the post, but had Steve Arnold just a little bit worried. You can kind of hear the auction and fans below us booing, and they're definitely feeling a little bit flat to start this second half after what wasn't a great display in the first Think of taking on his man up against two, goes on the outside, back on the inside, right foot. Still boating in possession, lays it back to Simper. Might have a go from outside the box, does, and it nearly snuck in the near post there. Fine reaction save in the end by Ethan Ross getting down to his right hand side. Three of the four goals conceded have nestled in that corner. I don't think he wanted another one there. Smart save from Ross. And to be fair to him, he didn't to shoot. It wasn't an awful lot he could do with. Since he's come on for French, is Jackson. Nice little ball down the line for Simper. Good first touch by him. Might need a bit of support here on his left foot. Cross into the box. It's a good one. And now his hands there, and it's five. A lovely start there for Nadezhan Sutton Korea. And it is turning into what is a five-star performance by the U's. Yeah. And I think that's capped off a brilliant performance. I think one to 11 plus the subs, I think Sutton have been excellent. The Simper with a lovely ball in. Absolutely lovely. Planted on the head. Has ticked on the scoreboard opposite us. Referee has checked his watch too. I imagine... A goal kick and maybe one or two extra passes and that might be it now to end the game here. Ross forward, referee blows the whistle and we've said it already and we're going to say it again, a five-star display by Sutton United here in their first game at the VBS this season. Yeah, 